Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers, Blowers, and Guns. How's everybody doing? As you all know from my channel, I am a citizen of the People's Republic of New York. And uh, we have new laws that have gone in place since September 4th of this year. One of those laws, aside from needing a license for a semi-automatic rifle and also not able to purchase body armor, there was also a small part of that law that included background checks for ammunition purchases as of September 4th. However, they just like putting laws into place without actually being able to, to enforce it. So as a result, there's a lot of back and forth and rumors about the fact that do they actually take information or background checks before you can buy ammo? What I've heard from local gun shops and people who patronize them after September 4th is that they do write down a lot of information, such as your driver's license, but I don't believe a background check or a NYX check is actually done. So I decided that I was going to test the theory on online ammo. I normally purchase my ammo online because I find that that's the best deal. And, uh, Recently, on Velocity Ammo, which I have purchased numerous times in the past, um, had a great sale. Now, this is a no-name brand, 9mm brass case of 1,000 rounds for only $289. Now, Velocity Ammo does charge tax, but they offer free shipping for anything over $200 purchases. So it being that this was 289, it was free shipping. Now with the free shipping, they also included a special 5% off. So basically that 5% off to absorb most of the taxes. So I felt that it was a great deal. Also, this deal of a thousand rounds included an ammo can, which you know, you got to have a place to put your shit, you know? So it just, the UPS guy just came by, and I'm just going to unbox it for you real quick right now, as I always do. It's going to be a short video, because I just wanted to mention the new laws for ammunition, although I don't think they're actually going to start doing background checks until next year when they have a database in place, which I really doubt. They've been trying to do this since 2013, okay? There is no database. But um, moving forward, though, I think if you buy ammo online, they may say we can only ship it to an FFL in which you'll have to pay the, the gun store or the FFL no more than $10 for a transfer. So, I mean, it is a pain in the butt, but you'll still be able to buy your ammo as long as you pass your background check at an FFL. But, like I said, I called up Velocity Ammo and I says, hey, are you guys still shipping to New York? And I just got a reply from them. Yes, sir. It's business as usual as far as I'm concerned. Hey, all I did was press a button and order it. $289. Uh, with that little bit of tax minus the, tw uh, the $21, I believe it was uh, for the 5% coupon code, it was like $2.95, you know? So $0.29 cents a round. I forget what brand this is, but I'll tell you in a second. Um, they had PMC brass ammo, I think for $4.10. So with, sh with t taxes, it would be like $4.30. So that's about what you pay anyway. Um, but I figured I'd, I have PMC already. So I figured I'd try this new brand. And plus the PMC did not come with an ammo can. I feel like I'm getting a better deal because I'm getting an ammo can. You know what I'm saying? I paid the extra $225 for it to be in an unmarked box. And also it's uh, insurance in case that uh, something happens to your package and uh, you wouldn't have to worry. If you got the insurance, whatever happens to the package, they're going to either give you your money back or give you the ammo right away. You know? So that's kind of like a no-hassle kind of thing. Okay. As you can see, the ammo is in this Plano box. Plano makes, uh, you know, gun cases and ammo cans and, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, ammunition storage. So as you can see, 
Oh, so I, I'm assuming this is loose. Well, I split this case with my friend, so I guess we're just gonna have to count out 500 rounds, you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll open it up and let you see. What else is the video for, right? It's got this little bullshit seal. Just rip it off. Uh, let me get you closer. All right, now that you're closer, um... 9mm Luger FMJ 115 grain Gecko is what it's called? Hmm, I don't think that's the name of it. Alright, well, anyway, here we go. It is loose. Maybe I should have got the PMC because I'm going to have to count out 500 rounds and there's no storage for it. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Anyway, here we go. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at that. Very smooth and polished. Uh, it says AUSA 9mm Luger on it. That's it. That's all it says. Full metal jacket. It seems smoother than the uh, previous 9mm purchase that I bought, which was, I believe, Grind Hard. No, I take that back. I bought some PMC, which is smoother. But this is very good. Looks really nice. It's all gold. I don't see any silver in it other than the primer. Looks really good. 289, guys. That's a deal, huh? Um, as long I mean I have a lot of ammo, but as long as it's I'm getting cheaper prices each time I buy, I'm gonna keep buying it, you know? Because to me, ammo is like gold. <laughs> In an apocalypse, money can't buy anything because people don't even want the paper money because you can't buy anything with it. But if you have tangible things like very, very valuable things in an apocalypse, like ammunition, you could always trade or barter. You could always use it to protect yourself too. Your guns are no good without ammunition. So buy as much as you can, provided that you can afford it. And also, if you believe you're getting a better deal than you normally would, you should buy it. Even though you have a lot of it, you just keep buying it. At least I'm going to. So don't knock on my door asking for ammo because I told you to buy it. It's um, Ruag. R-U-A-G. Gecko. G-E-C-O. Ruag Gecko. That's the brand of this ammunition. I've never heard of it. Um... Good deal though, thousand rounds, 29 cents with an ammo can. You can't beat that really, uh, for brass and it looks good. I'll be trying this out at my next range trip, see how it shoots. Thanks a lot for joining me on this uh, unboxing of ammunition. We'll see you guys next time on mowers, blowers and guns. Okay, it's Tula. Oh, Jesus Christ.